May it please the Chamber, I will be addressing a very specific and narrow legal issue, and that issue has to do with the propriety of the trial chamber's decision allowing the prosecution leave to amend the indictment on June the 17th, 1997. I have time constraints uh, to consider, so I would ask the translators to bear with me because I will be proceeding in a rather rapid manner. Counsel for the appellant indicated this morning that the central inquiry as to this issue has to deal with the question of prejudice. That is, to what extent uh, was the appellant's right to a fair and expeditious trial prejudiced by virtue of the trial chamber's decision allowing us leave to amend the indictment? I would respectfully submit that there are five considerations that are relevant to the issue of prejudice. The first consideration involves the question whether at the time the indictment was amended in the month of June 1997, the rules of this tribunal contemplated that an, an indictment could be amended during a trial. In our brief, we have cited to Rule 50. The version of Rule 50 that was in force in June of 1997 explicitly contemplates that an amendment may be made to an indictment during the trial. The second relevant consideration has to do with the nature of the indictment. Counsel for the appellant indicated this morning that the indictment, when it was amended, uh, it virtually took the form of a substituted new indictment. He indicated that it was not a mere technical amendment. In relation to this issue, I might provide uh, a procedural history of the indictment. The first indictment in this case was confirmed on February the 16th, 1997. The case on the merits began on January the 9th, 1997. The prosecution rested its case on May the 23rd, 1997. On May the 24th, 1997, a status conference was held before the trial chamber. At that time, the trial chamber decided to grant the defense approximately four months within which it could prepare a defense for the appellant. Consequently, the trial was postponed until September the 29th, 1997. In June of that year, specifically June the 16th, 1997, the prosecution filed a motion, or rather filed a request, uh, seeking to bring an expedited oral motion before the trial chamber to seek leave to amend the indictment. The prosecution's request was heard by the chamber on the following day, June the 17th, 1997. The request to amend the indictment called for the addition of three new paragraphs to the indictment. It also called for the addition of three new counts alleging crimes of sexual violence. The original indictment of 1996 contained 23 paragraphs, and it contained 12 counts against the appellant. When you add the three new paragraphs, you have 28 paragraphs. And when you add the three new counts, it adds up to 15 counts against the appellant. I don't say all of this by way of suggesting that uh, a numerical analysis of how many paragraphs or counts we add is determinative of the issue. Uh, we have to look at the quality of the counts and their substance. Uh, 